Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to Mac Fitness Imam Monday. We've got another Imam for the next four weeks for you. And this one's gonna be a little bit different than the last two sequences where we were every minute on the minute. This is gonna be an every three minute on the minute uh, routine, which is gonna be a grouping of exercises done uh, every three minutes on every three minutes, right? So you're gonna get a group of exercises, three, four, I think we have one, two, three, five exercises. You're gonna do all of them, number of reps inside that three minutes, rest, do it again. We're going nine rounds here for this one here. So three times nine, 27 minutes for your EMOM workout here today. I think that's gonna be more than enough uh, to get you guys feel. And remember this one here, we want it to be a lot more metabolically driven. All right, so you might uh, go a little bit lighter on one move versus uh, one of the other moves, all right? Definitely sure to get the heart rate up, get a good sweating, get a good pump, increase the cardiovascular endurance, Right, but also challenging from getting those muscles burning. So let's walk through the warm up here, which is going to be your good mornings, your quad, your quadrupeds, and your high knees. Okay. Then we're going to go into some single arm kettlebell swings. From there, we're going to go into some goblet squats, some curl press to overhead combination move, into some reverse crunches to hit that total body. So let's go through what we're going to be going, uh, what the first part of the warm up is going to be. That guys is going to be your quadruped. So if you can see me over here, I'm sorry. Good mornings. Our good mornings are gonna be done. Feet are gonna be hip distance apart, right? We're gonna get those hands, we're gonna bring them overhead here. And what we're gonna do is just simply hinge at the hinge, at the hips. This is a hip hinge movement. What we're looking to do here is get those hips back, maintain the same line from the top of the head all the way through those hips. So I'm driving the heels through the floor, same thing, the balls of the feet. I'm getting my hips back, I'm maintaining that position of the spine. I feel the pull in the back of the legs, the hamstrings and then I bring my hips forward. You're gonna get 10 of those good mornings. From there, guys, we're gonna come down on the ground here, get in this six point position, which means that my knees and my, my knees, my, my toes and my hands are gonna be on the ground right here. Right, this kind of tabletop position, I'm gonna bring my right hand, put it on my right ear. I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna follow my vision with that, uh, with my right elbow open all the way up. We're trying to get as much thoracic and that means that middle part of this uh, back there. Thoracic rotation as we can. Let's bring it down. We're gonna do five on one side. We're gonna simply go over that other side here. Keeping the core tight, maintain a tight core. As you roll through again, trying to open up all the way uh, as much as you can to open up through that thoracic spine. Once you're done there, guys, we're simply gonna get up onto the feet here. We're gonna get some high knees. This one here, balls of the feet. Uh, drive them through the floor. So your level one here is just gonna be a simple march, right? If you have trouble doing anything uh, with a hopping motion, you can just march that one out and get your 20 high knees in there, right? For all of those of us that can, uh, we're gonna drive the ball of the foot through the floor and we're gonna get those high knees in and work through there. You're gonna get 20 of those, right? Cool. Now let's work right into uh, the movements here. The movements are gonna be our Single arm kettlebell swing. We're gonna get five on one side. We're gonna get five on the other. You're gonna do your goblet squats. You're gonna then go into your uh, curl press to overhead. And then you're gonna finish out with some ab work with our uh, kettlebell overhead raises. So let's go in that kettlebell single arm swing. Guys, we've done the swings before. Feet are gonna be uh, about a little bit wider than hip distance so that we can allow that kettlebell to come through the legs. From here, we get that soft bend in the knees. And this here is that hinged movement pattern. We're gonna come down hinge, we're gonna grab with one hand, we're gonna swing that kettlebell up, we're gonna get five, your hips go back, let the weight bring you down, use those glutes to fire you up, you're gonna get five there, switch over, five kettlebell swings then on that other side. Once you're done with those kettlebell swings, grab that kettlebell, bring it up here in that goblet position, get in that squat stance that's comfortable for you, just make sure that the knees track over second and third toes, hips go back, we flex bend at the knees, get as low as we can, and we work those 10 goblet squats. Once you're done there, guys, you're gonna grab the kettlebell, right? I'm gonna grab that kettlebell by the handles, okay? Right from here, I'm gonna get a curl. So I'm gonna flex at the elbow, curl. I'm gonna press it right up overhead. I'm gonna make sure my core is nice and tight, and I'm gonna let that kettlebell come back behind me, and then fully extend up to finish that tricep extension. Bring that back down. We're gonna get 10 of those before we then finish out here with our 20. Let's see if we can, yep, there we go. We're gonna go with our kettlebell overhead reverse crunches. So I'm gonna grab the kettlebell like so. I'm gonna bring this right up overhead, maintaining that position 
Overhand as I keep a slight bend in the legs, knees coming to the chest, hips come off the ground, and I get that little crunch in there, right? We're gonna get 20 of these reverse crunches. Once you're done there, you rest for whatever time you have left in that three minute time span before you begin and do that again for a total of nine rounds, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this EMOM every three minutes on the minute. See you in the next video on Wednesday. Peace and love.